Hi, I'm Stephen Brownlow. I'd like to welcome you to the Adept About page. When I was a college undergraduate, I really, I felt like I was destined to do something, but I really didn't know what it was. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I really didn't know what I wanted in a lot of areas. And so that led me to have this burning question of how people actually know what they want and what their life purpose is. And nobody seemed to be able to give me a good answer to that. But as I tried to start watching other people and see how they grappled with it, I saw two groups of people. And the first group of people seemed to be people who could tell me what they wanted. But as I watched them, they seemed to do everything they possibly could that would prevent themselves from actually having that. And nobody could tell me why that happened either. But then there was a second group of people who, especially if what they said they wanted were things like money, power, prestige, they could get what they wanted and sometimes even more than they said they wanted in those areas. But yet they didn't seem any happier than the first group of people. And yet they kept pursuing the money, power, prestige, even though it wasn't bringing them happiness or fulfillment. Now, having those three burning questions in the back of my mind led through a long series of synchronicities, happenstances, coincidences, to me attending three different graduate schools, uh, getting a master's degree in social personality and developmental psychology, uh, becoming a licensed professional counselor, learning about um, emotions as much as anybody that I've ever met, becoming a clinical psychologist. Eventually, when I finally finished that road, and that included a lot of independent study, a lot of reading, uh, continuous full-time employment, working with individuals, groups, families, family groups, kids, adolescents, adults, geriatrics, forensics, assessment, all of which was enjoyable, all of which added to what I was doing. But eventually, I still knew that something was missing. And as I, people started asking me to supervise them, to train them, and as I did that, I started realizing that a lot of what was starting out to be supervision was really helping people that I was supervising with those same three basic questions. How do I know what I want? How do I let myself have what I want? How do I quit trying to get things that aren't bringing me happiness? Only by now, I had a framework for it. I understood that these were really emotional problems and defensive problems, and in some respect, a spiritual problem. And by then, what I was doing was starting to look less and less like supervision, and in at least in its aims, it was looking more and more like spiritual coaching, except without beads and incense and chanting and exercises to raise our vibration. We didn't have all of that. It was just good applied science. And as I started working with people, I started realizing that these therapists I was working with were a lot like me, usually. They were really sensitive, empathic, intuitive kinds of people, and that deep down, what they wanted were all variations on the same thing that I had realized that I wanted. Deep relationships to be seen and known and understood and to feel loved. 
and to feel like they can love other people without being judged and ultimately to help people and to change the world in some fundamental way. If this sounds like you, then what I can tell you is that you're in the right place and through your own set of synchronicities and coincidences and happenstances, you found the right person to help you.